Hello, I'm Joseph with JTech. I'm going to be going over how to calculate gear ratios. So, first I'm going to show you some components and then I'll be taking you over to a board where I can show you how to do the calculations. So, first thing you need to know are your compound gears. Which compound gears is from the input shaft to this first gear here and then goes to the other gear on the counter shaft. This is your compound gear. Now you're doing your gear calculations, you have to find out the ratio to this, and the ratio to whatever other gear it is you're going to do, and then you go back. Now the way you find out the gear ratio is very simple. Like this, this is fifth gear. So I'll take that stuff. Here. So on your fifth gear, you should go right here. What you do is you count all the splines on this, and all the splines on this, and then you divide the uh, driven by the drive gears. You divide the uh, driven gear by the drive gear. And then the way, the way you find the actual ratio is you the gear ratio from the compound and the gear ratio for the gear, you multiply those together and that will give you your compound ratio. And that is it for this portion. Now I'm going to take it over to a whiteboard and show you on there. Okay, so like I was saying, I was going to, we're going to calculate how to actually get a gear ratio out of this. So, the, that's the drive gear here, the small one. And that's the driven gear here, so this one is being driven. Now, one thing to note before we get started on this is if this gear is rotating this way, it's going to rotate this gear that way. The reason why that's important is because the reverse gear. We'll go this way, and then the one driven gear, which will be the idle gear, will go that way, and then that'll drive another gear back this way again. Now, for any other gear, let's say, and this one has 16 teeth here, this one has 8 teeth here. So you're going to divide the driven by the drive. So the driven gear is 16 teeth, so we'll do 16 divided by. 8 teeth, so then there's 8. And this sends out 2. So, and this comes into evenly, as you probably know, so 0. So then this would be a 2 to 1 ratio. Because whatever this number here is going to be to 1. So, whatever the driving driven, which normally you're going to see it like this would be, this would be the driven. Speed of drive. Now, when you're doing a compound ratio, you, what you're going to do is then you're going to find these two ratios of the compound gear, which is the first gear in the drive in the drive line. So, you're going to have your gears here, and I'm just going to do a simple two-speed, which you're never going to have, but just for just to show. And you're going to have these two gears here. We want to want to be straight across there, but then this would be your compound, and then this one will be the other one. Now, once you find this ratio over here, which is from this seat here of uh, the compound gear, and whatever gear this is, let's say this is first gear, it's first gear, then you're going to multiply this gear ratio here. By this gear ratio. So then, to find that, let's say, for instance, this is a 0.5 to 1. Just, just to say. So it's a 0.5 to 1. So then, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the 2 by 0.5, which in this case will be 1. So I, I just did that there for equal math, but you're going to do this for both of the gears. And then, you multiply them together and that's your actual ratio so this one gear will be your gears ratio and you got your compound ratio and then this will be your actual ratio